Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be doing a lot of interesting stuff with our panels and with our workspace. Okay, we're going to be editing our workspace, modifying our workspace to suit our needs, okay, our individual needs. So let's start by creating a new project or a new file and then just choose the default one we've been using and then do not select add bots, just deselect add bots and then uh, create. Perfect. Okay, first of all, let's just look at other workspaces. So for example, uh, we have not just the essentials workspace, we have other workspaces. Now these are other workspaces. We have the 3D workspace. Now the 3D workspace gives us, uh, makes, makes it easier for us to work in 3D here in Photoshop. Okay, so you see that when I just choose the 3D workspace, things just changed, right? Some panels got removed, some got added, okay? And uh, when I choose the graphic and web, we can see that things also changed again. Some got removed, some got added, okay? Now, now these workspaces have been designed based on, of course, different things we might want to achieve. So if we are working with 3D, we might want to choose the 3D workspace. If we were working with graphics and web, we might want to choose the graphic and web workspace. If we're working with motion, that's video and motion graphics, and you might be asking, can you do motion graphics in Photoshop? Yeah, we can actually do that in Photoshop. We can edit videos in Photoshop. And we're going to cover that in the advanced course. Okay, but we can actually do that. So if, you're gonna, if you want to do that, this is the workspace you might want to be using. Okay, now we have the painting workspace, which gives us access to our brushes, paints, and so on and so forth. Our workspaces change based on the template we choose here. So perfect. Now let's go back to essentials. And let's say we want to remove things, we want to add things. Let's say we want to change the direction of things. We don't want everything looking like this, okay? So first of all, we need to start by um, removing the libraries, the libraries panel. Okay, so I'm just gonna click here and drag. So when I click and drag, you can see that I've removed it from this place, right? There were three panels right here, but I dragged the libraries panel out and now I have it. Now, when I click on top here, on top here, uh, we can see that I'm able to move the panel, okay? I'm able to move the panel. So I can click it and drag and kind of just dock it here it's going to be placed there so you can see i've moved it from here to here okay you can also click it and bring it out you can close it if i want you can drag the parts out and close it if i want okay this is how to move your panels around and this basically works for everything you can customize everything here and you can uh, not just customize but after you customize it you can also save your new look that's your new workspace okay so for the toolbar, what you have to do is just come here to this particular place, click and drag it out. So you can see that we've now removed our tools from this place, right? So you can take it back and place it back if you want. You can bring it out, okay? We can even bring it to this place. Let's see, we don't want it uh, here. We can bring it here and just place it here, okay? So we have our tools here. And um, let's say we want to change the position of our properties bar which is this one let's assume we want to change the position we can just click here and drag it out so now let's have it here okay let's see if we can dock it, it seems we can dock it anywhere else apart from here so we won't keep it here we're just gonna keep it here like this okay so we have this and then now if you've observed we can see this little bar here this little bar has been introduced into the most recent versions of Photoshop. And this bar helps us do very quick tasks, which Photoshop senses that we might want to do, okay, based on the tools we select and based on the things we select in our viewport, okay, or in our workspace. So if we select this guy now with an empty workspace, it's going to show us import image, okay? So it sends that there is nothing and we might want to import image. So Let's import image. So we can now import image and it's going to allow us import, right? 
and we have other things here other options here we can show more properties okay we can um, hide the bar we can reset bar position we can pin the bar position we can even move it here we can click and move it okay so that's uh, by the way I want us to uh, kind of remove and add some things so I want to remove this guy okay this is the history panel for the history panel I want to um, um, see put it here okay and then let's take the color the color let's just have the color uh, see here um doesn't look too good okay let's remove the color let's see um okay the color doesn't look good like this it's containing too much space so we can just okay let's say we want to have the color here and i'm not really doing anything in specific i'm just trying to 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 edit the workspace as much as possible okay i'm not having any particular uh view in mind okay i'm just trying to scatter things as much as possible and still make sense okay so um adjustment layers properties so let's see we want to add some other panels so let's see which panels are we adding let's add the character panel so here is the character panel so the character panel is here and we can click here to close the character panel click here to open the character panel and you can see that it's actually uh, obstructing our tool right it's actually obstructing our tools so um let's see let's see let's see we could we could have our character here so that it doesn't obstruct our tools okay perfect so basically i've been able to edit my workspace now when i come to windows and then come to workspaces and come to new workspace so i can now name this workspace you can see edited workspace very bad naming but of course the naming can be better okay it can carry the name of the particular task we want to be achieving or we want to associate with this particular workspace okay so but the name isn't bad edited workspace perfect so let's hit save now we have this workspace saved as the edited uh workspace so if you come to our workspaces we are going to see it here edited workspace okay it's the one that that is currently selected so let's go back and select our our, our essentials now we can see that after selecting our essentials workspace nothing changed right now that's because we were on the essentials workspace before we created or before we saved our edited workspace so we did all those changes on our essentials workspace and it kind of saved it as our essentials workspace okay now what do we do to bring it back to normal we can just hit reset essentials like we've always done so hit reset and we have everything back to the way it is and we can still go back to windows workspaces and back to our workspace our edited workspace okay and if this is the workspace that is best for us to complete our work we can use it to complete our work that's basically it about editing your workspace it's very simple and basic stuff okay but you might find it useful that will be it for our video okay so see you guys in the next one hey so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it and learned something new if you did please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you want to see more videos like this make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads we post new videos every week covering topics in the fields of graphic design and illustration motion graphics and video branding and more if you want to support us and get access to exclusive benefits such as the project files we use in our classes live chat with us shout outs and more consider becoming a patron on patreon you can join for as little as three dollars a month and the link to our patreon page is in the description below and if you want to take your learning to the next level 
you can check out the complete course of which this episode is a part of. And in the complete course, you get access to more than 10 hours of video lessons, project files and resources, class exercises, a Q&A section, a certificate of completion, and more. You can get the course for a special discount by using the link in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.